The deputies, suspect, and victims involved in a fatal shooting in Nevis last Thursday have now been identified. According to the Hubbard County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Seth Kuhn was identified as the officer who discharged his firearm during that incident. He has been in law enforcement for nine years, including the past year with the Hubbard County Sheriff's Office. The deputy who was injured in the incident has been identified as Eric Reichkemmel. He has been in law enforcement for 13 years, including the past four with Hubbard County. Shortly before 8 on Thursday night, Hubbard County Sheriff's deputies responded to a 911 call of a shooting incident at a home on the 100 block of Paul Bunyan Trail in Nevis. When deputies arrived, they found a woman dead outside of the home. The armed suspect, 34-year-old Bryce Anthony Bellamo of Nevis, had fled the scene in the victim's vehicle before law enforcement arrived. A second victim, who had also been shot, was still inside of the vehicle. Hubbard County deputies located the suspect's vehicle north of Nevis, and a pursuit ensued, which lasted about 20 minutes. During the pursuit, authorities say Bellamo fired at the pursuing vehicles and struck Deputy Reipkema before eventually putting the vehicle into a ditch on County Road 119. Deputy Seth Kuhn came upon the vehicle. Bellamo was outside of the vehicle. Both Bellamo and Kuhn fired their weapons. The suspect got back into the vehicle, and deputies later determined that Bellamo had shot himself and was dead. The victims have been identified as 40-year-old Heidi Eve Pierce of Akeley and 37-year-old Candy Cheryl Gucci of Akeley. They both died of homicide due to a gunshot wound. Deputy Reipkema was taken to St. Joseph's Hospital in Park Rapids and then to Essentia Health in Fargo, North Dakota, where he was treated for a non-life-threatening shooting injury and released. Sources tell Lakeland News that Reipkema likely survived because he was wearing a bulletproof vest from the 616 program, which donates the vest to area law enforcement departments. Now, Deputy Kuhn has been placed on standard administrative leave after firing his weapon. Hubbard County deputies do not wear body cameras. Investigators will determine whether dash cameras captured the incident. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.